buoyancy, I think. We've been seeing rock and roll bands ourselves all our life. We love, I guess it comes from the Velvet Underground, it comes from the Stooges, it comes from the Dolls, it comes from uh, Screaming Jay Hawkins, it comes, I guess a, a lot, lot of the, the black, darker side of rock and roll, I guess some people would put it that way. Although this, those people I mentioned are all multifaceted people that have to do with life. You know, I, I don't know why we're drawn to that particular yeah. kind of image, you know, it just seems to be the way we are, you know, come from a lot of different places, horror movies, sex. I know. think yeah, mixing violence with glamour goes really good together. But I think those people that are accusing us of, of, of putting on the show or something like that are people whose lives are so boring that they think no one could be like this, you know. And, Who and think I, people don't really act like there's nothing natural about acting this way, you know. They can't conceive that it could be for somebody. You know, I see somebody walking down the street in a brown three-piece suit or something, or, or uh, you know, any kind of stereotype you like. It looks fantastic to me. I can't believe someone's life is actually like that. To me, that's fantastic. Someone can be that boring. So it's kind of sick humor, you know. We like to bring a little more sick humor back to rock and roll. Rock and roll is just way too healthy these days. It's horrible. It's obnoxious, you know. All these rock stars doing good all over the world and everything, you know. Oh, my God. Enough.